Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Borough Home Bar. I hope you're all well and looking forward to another cocktail this week on my channel. This cocktail is inspired by some very strange butter that I found in a shop. I think it's butter, yeah, butter. And uh, I saw it and immediately thought that would be great in a cocktail. So here we are, this is the cocktail that I'm going to make. So the butter is pear and tonka bean butter. So I thought it was very unusual. I don't know what else I'm going to use it for, but a good start is definitely for a cocktail. So then I just started working around the idea of pear and vanilla in a cocktail, hence why I've come up with this um, invention, the vanilla and pear teeny. I know you get a pear teeny, which is kind of different and that's its own thing. But this is going to be a borrow twist in that because I'm going to have all these other things in there. So yeah, as I say, I'm going to be using this pear and tonka bean butter, which I actually haven't used yet. So we'll see what that's like in there. I quite like using thick butters and uh, like I've done a few cocktails in the past where I've used something similar and they usually go quite well, give it kind of a nice body and texture. I'm also going to use some vanilla vodka in here. So the vanilla part um, following through. Pear liqueur, obviously, pear and vanilla. Then I thought I'm going to add some Jack Daniels honey. I don't know why, but we're going to see how that goes. I was just looking in my cabinet at what I have and I think that might go in it quite well. I also have some vanilla bitters and then just some fresh lemon juice that I'm going to use as well. So we will start making this vanilla and pear teeny. So in the shaker, I'm going to start with my vanilla vodka and I actually don't have very much that's left. So I don't know how much I'm going to put in until I put it in. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah I need more vanilla vodka so okay so probably about 40 mils that's not too bad that's a good start that's more than what I thought so 40 mils of vanilla vodka in there <laughs> okay let's do the pear now so I'm going to put in about 35 mils of the pear I think this smells divine it smells like um you know like the pear hard-boiled sweets that you used to get when you're younger I don't know if you know what that means but that's what they smell like to me so, let's pop that in the shaker. Lovely stuff. Then I'm going to go in with the Jack Daniels honey. I just hadn't used it for a while, so I was like, hmm, what could I use that I haven't used in a while? I think I'm just going to do about 25 mils of that. And then this came to mind. I thought it might go quite well in it. So, a few dashes of vanilla bitters. Getting more of the vanilla in there. We'll do two kind of large dashes. Then lemon juice, I have already squeezed my lemon, so I'm going to do 50 mils in here. Lovely, lovely. And then last but not least is this butter. So I'm just going to put one teaspoon of this in here. I don't know what else I could use this in. Spread it on toast or something maybe? And a dessert, I'm thinking in a dessert probably. There we go, so that is the butter. And there as well. So I'm going to add ice to this and I'm going to be giving this a good shake and a good strain into the glass as well just um, because there's obviously it's a bit thicker than usual with the, the butter in there. I think butter, if you're getting confused, I, I, I mean it's not really butter, it's like a puree. It's, it actually looks a little bit like baby food, <laughs> if I'm honest. But it's called a butter, that, that is what is on the label. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's too cold. <laughs> Woo! That is, that is cold. Okay, right, for my glass and my garnish, so I've got this lovely glass here and I have attempted a pear garnish, but actually looking at it, I think it's a bit big. Um, it's quite a large pear. I should have dried the pear and then used the dried pear on it, but hey-ho. And I did spray it with gold glitter. I don't know how well that's going to look on camera. It might look quite spotty, but I'll just say that that's the effect that I was going for, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> okay, so like I said, I'm going to strain this into here. It definitely smells of pear. I can smell the pear coming off. I don't know if that is the liqueur or the butter or what, but it does smell, smells delightful. Give that a little bit of help. 
There we go. Okay, so that is my vanilla and pear teeny. So let's give this a little taste and see what it is like. I think this pear is gonna fly off, so let's give this a hold while I'm doing it. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that was such a good shout, having the Jack Daniels honey. Oh, I love that. Oh, that goes together really, really well. That is lovely. That's really delicious. I'm not getting a huge amount of the... Well, I mean, vodka is just like a background. You, you, you know, you don't taste vodka, but there is the vanilla in there. But because there's also the vanilla bitters and the vanilla in the butter, I don't know what it is that I'm tasting that's a slightly vanilliness. It might not be the vodka. So maybe if i done this the next time, I'd maybe just make it a purely whiskey. I don't know. I'm not sure. Basically, this is coming through really nicely. And this is like the main flavour, which is good because actually it's delicious. I've not used it in a while and I don't know why. Um, and it goes really well with the pear. The Jack Daniels honey in the pear goes really well. And then it's just ever so slightly in the background is this little vanilla note. And a little bit sharp from the lemon. Um, oh yeah, it does. It, tastes, it does taste like that sweet that I was telling you about, the hard boiled pear sweet, it kind of does taste like that, but just in boozy liquid, liquid, liquid form. Yeah, make up a new word. <laughs> no, that is really good. I'm really happy with how that turned out, actually. I think this worked really well. It's not too, too thicker. You wouldn't even notice that there was any sort of puree in there, really. Um, and it's not overly sweet either. I've not added any sugar, sugar syrup or anything because of this. I thought this was going to be quite, quite sweet, and it is. No, it's delicious. It's perfect, actually. It's really perfect. I'm really happy with that. Thank you so much for watching me on the Bourbon Bar. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of anything like this, if you'd love to try it, what you would prefer to see in this one. Um, and yeah, catch me next time on the Bourbon Bar for another delicious cocktail. Cheers!